Welcome to the Weekend Tea with Southern Belle. Let's get it. Let's go. And we are back. I hope that you guys had a wonderful work week. I know here we received a lot of snow and freezing ice, but we are officially thawing out. Let's get into the lineup for this evening. We are going to discuss none other than Snoop Dogg. We're going to talk about Jason Lee. We're also going to talk about Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Let's first start off with Big Sean. Allegedly, his nude photographs have been exposed on social media. When doing the ruler test, this is something that happens on Nintendo Switch, which is a gaming system. It says Big Sean got exposed during the ruler test and is apparently 9.4 inches long. Social media is in a frenzy after the 32-year-old Detroit rapper Big Sean allegedly uploaded a picture of his genitals onto the Nintendo Switch console, causing himself and his girlfriend, Janae Aeko, to become trending. Last night, a photo of his genitalia was uploaded to the soundtrack of one of his um, famous songs called I Don't F With You. Now it's being shared around social media. Big Sean came on later to Instagram and said that picture is not of his penis. Alrighty then. Moving on, let's talk about Snoop Dogg. He is just got recently hit with a lawsuit from a Uber Eats driver who accused him allegedly of putting out his personal information on Instagram. A month after the West Coast rapper shared a conversation between him and an Uber Eats driver, the driver tells news outlets that he fears for his safety and is planning to hire an attorney. Following a failed delivery attempt, Death Row Records owner Snoop Dogg took to Instagram to air out his frustrations. In doing so, the rapper shared the driver's sensitive information, which was his name, photo as well as his drive his license plate number I'm sorry of his car now this uber employee says that his job has been compromised and he is going to be suing this is all alleged the rap icon the driver said he didn't know that he was delivering a meal to the hip hop icon but was put off whenever he arrived at an industrial complex in Inglewood California the driver says, when I read it, I felt like it was not fair because I'm not the one who deserves an apology from Uber Eats, not Snoop. So what happened was after Snoop complained, Uber Eats came out with a public apology to Snoop and the driver felt like he deserved an apology. He said he felt like he was not treated well by Uber Eats. Uber Eats then came out with a statement that said it protects its drivers by using anonymous phone numbers for drivers and that customers can communicate that way and they always omit the last name of their drivers. However, the delivery company also stated that they do not use license plates. So they don't know how that Snoop got a hold of this gentleman's license plate off of his car. 
We'll uh, find out more about this lawsuit as it entails. Remember, everything on my show is alleged. Let's talk about Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. The Los Angeles District Attorney's Office is issuing a statement regarding a strong case against Tory Lanez. Tory is on trial for shooting Meg the Stallion. This happened back in July of 2020. In a statement, the LA County DA expressed confidence in their case against a 29-year-old Canadian where it says, although we are legally prohibited from commenting on the evidence and we will continue to abide by the obligation, our office is under an ethical duty to only proceed on charges which we believe can be proven beyond a reasonable doubt and which have already been upheld by a judge. After presentation of this evidence at the preliminary hearing, we believe the evidence substantially supports the charges and the allegations that evidence can be borne out of this court case. This statement was released amid the DA's case against Tory. On Wednesday, blogger academics claimed that Tory's DNA was not found on the gun that was allegedly used to shoot Megan. However, Page Six tweeted, fake news alert. Any reports of Tory Lane's DNA not being found on the weapon is false. Today's pretrial hearing was just postponed to April the 5th, and that fake news tweet was sent out before the hearing even started. Wow. Tory explained in his text messages why he apologized because him and, well, first it was academics and Megan went back and forth with tweets. Then Tory chimed in and after academics and Megan got into it, Tory chimed in and said the only reason why he apologized to Megan was, and this came out of his tweet, I got caught up in between two women. So he finally came clean and admitted that he was dealing with both Megan and Megan's best friend, Kelsey, which we always, we already assumed. He just, nobody would ever come out and say it. So that's going to come out. Um, Just like they said, the trial's now been pushed back to April. Tory could face a sentence of 22 years in prison if he is convicted. We are going to take a quick pause, and when we come back, we're going to talk about Jason Lee. know what time it is that means this is our last story of the evening and we're going to talk about none other than jason lee he is eating crow why because he falsely reported that the queen of england queen elizabeth ii was dead which was a false story he published an apology after deleting this post about the queen although i've never been wrong about a breaking story Because this involves the queen, this is the one time I would want to be. And based on Wednesday's report that I got from the palace, I can say that my sources got it wrong. And I sincerely apologize to the royal family and the queen. My goodness. He apologized after the Buckingham Palace announced that the queen, who is 95 years of age, spoke with Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson in a weekly phone call, which happened on February 23rd. After becoming the laughing stock of Instagram, Jason Lee doubled down and insisted that he trusted his source. However, his source turned out to be a fan, not even a real source. 
So um, this is a word to the wise. Us in the journalism business always have reliable sources. Check, check, and check. And I never announce anything without making sure that it comes from a legitimate source, as well as like say if it's a uh, passing of someone, I would only announce something like that after the family has released a statement. So and you would think with Jason Lee being in the business as long as he has, he would have known better. When you know better, Jason Lee, do better. Okay, guys, and that rounds out tonight's lineup. I hope you enjoy the show, 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 and continue to tune in. This happens weekly. You can catch me on YouTube, Southern Bell 74, where I give you the latest in celebrity and entertainment news. I am on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course here on Spreaker doing my podcast. Take care and have a blessed night. Mm-hmm.